dear students continuing with our lecture series on organometallic compounds uh, this is our fourth lecture and in this lecture uh, we will continue with organotitanium compounds and in the present lecture uh, we will see uh, the synthesis and applications of titanium uh, tetraisopropoxide uh, as I have told you uh, that uh, titanium uh, compounds exist in uh, oxidation states of plus 2, plus 3 and plus 4 and uh, uh, titanium is the strongest uh, uh, as uh, some of the steels and this is the seventh most abundant metal which have been even used in Boeing 737 Dreamtime which constitutes about 15% uh, with the titanium metal uh, and there are many applications of uh, titanium compounds like uh, TiO2 uh, is used in paints and sunscreen then titanium metals they are also used uh, for making surgical implants so uh, they are very uh, important titanium complexes for many applications and uh, some of the important applications in organic synthesis uh, the commonly used as I have told you there are three uh, compounds of titanium that is titanium tetrachloride TiCl4 titanium tetraisopropoxide and titanosine dichloride uh, this lecture we have already seen uh, the applications uh, of titanium tetrachloride in organic senses and in the present lecture uh, we will discuss about the applications uh, of titanium tetraisopropoxide in organic synthesis. So uh, most common reaction uh, of this reagent that is uh, titanium tetraisopropoxide is with alkynes. So uh, when uh, titanium isopropoxide in combination with Grignard reagent uh, is uh, reacted with alkynes, uh, they generally give us a, an acetylene complex, titanocyclopropene. This type of uh, complex is formed, uh, which on reaction with uh, carbonyl compounds uh, can give us uh, different types of allylic alcohols as the product and uh, the reactions uh, uh, by these uh, titanium reagents uh, they are uh, very regio and uh, stereoselective in nature so basically what happens is uh, the mechanism of the reaction is such that uh, 1 to 2, uh, once to two mixture of uh, titanium tetraisopropoxide with uh, the Grignard reagent is used and uh, they form uh, this type of uh, titanium uh, cy cyclopropyl uh, complex uh, from which uh, uh, propene is removed and this on reaction with uh, alkyne will give us this type of titanocyclotropy uh, which will undergo uh, reaction with the carbonyl uh, compounds where this carbon uh, of the carbonyl will act as an electrophile and this oxygen will act as a nucleophile and uh, this complex uh, will be added to the uh, carbon of the uh, carbonyl to form a new carbon carbon group. so uh, these types of uh, titanium complexes they are used for making a new uh, carbon carbon bond formation then a few examples of uh, reaction of alkynes uh, with this reagent so uh, this substituted alkyne uh, where trimethylsilane and uh, 
C6, H13, uh, open chain, uh, hydrocarbon chain is attached uh, to this carbon-carbon triple bond or alkyne. This will give us this type of uh, titanium uh, cyclopropene complex, uh, which will react with uh, uh, some electrophiles. For example, in this case, if we use secondary butanol, uh, H positive and uh, H positive will act as an electrophile which will attack this uh, intermediate and we will get this type of uh, titanium uh, alkene complex and uh, this will again uh, react with another electrophile to give us uh, these types of hydroalkenes. Similarly, uh, if we react this uh, complex uh, with uh, carbonyl compounds, then <clears throat> this carbon of the carbonyl will act as an electrophile and uh, this titanium complex will be added to this uh, carbon oxygen double bond and we will get these types of uh, allylic alcohols as the product and uh, the product formation uh, in these cases is very uh, stereoselective. Uh, the syn product is uh, formed in 97% over here and similarly 98% and here also 98% if we use alpha beta unsaturated ketones and uh, when alpha beta unsaturated ketones they are used then uh, addition of this uh, titanium uh, complex will take place uh, to the carbon carbon double bond to give us these types of uh, organic compounds that's the product then uh, in another case uh, the alkynes they can also undergo cyclotrimerization if we use uh, different types of alkyne molecule so as we have seen previously uh, in the first step this type of uh, cyclopropene titanium complex will be formed and this complex can uh, react with another molecule of uh, terminal alkyne where we know that in case of these types of uh, alkynes H uh, is the positive part and rest of the molecule is negative. So H will elect, uh, act as an electrophile and uh, this will add to this uh, titanium complex and uh, uh, then addition of this carbon-carbon triple bond will give us these, this type of uh, titanium, five-member titanium complex, cyclopentadi uh, cyclopentadiene titanium complex. And uh, this will react with another molecule of uh, alka terminal alkyne. And uh, uh, this will convert this five-member titanium complex into uh, this type of uh, titanium-3 uh, complex which can react with uh, different types of electrophilic molecules to give us different types of products so for example when this reacts with carbonyl compounds then uh, these types of lactones they are formed as the product whereas when it reacts with iodine and uh, then these types of uh, iodo uh, compounds they are formed as the product so uh, this uh, titanium tetraisopropoxide is very efficient in uh, organic synthesis uh, through uh, cyclotrimerization of uh, alkynes. And this type of cyclotrimerization in case of alkynes is uh, called as metallative uh, repair reaction where uh, we can use uh, different types of alkynes to give us different types of product and uh, the reaction is highly uh, chemoselective and regioselective in nature. Uh, and uh, similarly uh, alkynes and uh, nitriles uh, they can also uh, react together with titanium isopropoxide in presence of Grignard reagent and here again once to two mixture of Grignard reagent with titanium isopropoxide is used and we can synthesize different types of cyclic or acyclic products using uh, different types of 
lactophile after the formation of this type of five membered nitrogen and titanium containing uh, ring complex and uh, when uh, H positive is used as an electrophile then we will get alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds if uh, aldehydes or carbonyl compounds they are uh, used as uh, the electrophilic uh, substrates uh, uh, to react with uh, this complex then we will get uh, furanes as the product whereas uh, pyrroles they are formed when we use uh, carbon nitrogen triple bonded compounds as electrophilic substrates similarly uh, haloalkynes uh, they also react with uh, titanium isopropoxide and grignard reagent at uh, minus 78 degree centigrade and uh, likewise uh, this complex will add to the carbon carbon triple bond to give us this type of cyclopropene titano uh, scene complexes and uh, at minus uh, 50 uh, degree centigrade uh, this uh, complex will uh, degrade to give us these types of uh, titano alkynes as the uh, intermediates and these uh, titano alkynes uh, they can react with different types of electrophilic compounds to give us uh, propergyl alcohols as the product. Uh, similarly, if these uh, titanoalkynes they are further reacted with titanium isopropoxide and Grignard reagent, then uh, this will get converted into this type of uh, cyclopropene uh, titanosine uh, complex and this on reaction with uh, any electrophile for example deuterium uh, positive will give us uh, deuterated al alkenes as the product so uh, haloalkynes they can be converted either into propergyl alcohols or alkenes as the Uh, then another uh, important reaction of uh, titanium isopropoxide, uh, titanium tetraisopropoxide is uh, Kulinikov uh, which reaction, uh, Kulinikov which reaction where esters they are converted into cyclopropanols and again a mixture of uh, Grignard reagent and uh, titanium tetraisopropoxide is used for conversion of esters into cyclopropanols. Basically what happens is uh, titanium iso uh, tetraisopropoxide reacts with in the presence of Grignard reagent to give us uh, this type of uh, open chain titanium complex and uh, this undergoes uh, elimination of uh, uh, ethane uh, from here and this will form a uh, cyclopropane titanium complex and this cyclopropane uh, titanium complex reacts with the ester to give us uh, this type of five membered uh, titanium uh, containing uh, complex. Uh, which will uh, undergo rearrangement to give us this type of uh, titanium uh, complex with cyclotropane ring and this on hydrolysis uh, will give us cyclopropanols as the product uh, this is another example of uh, klinikovic uh, reaction where you can see there are three ester groups present uh, in this molecule and in all the case three cases the ester groups they are converted into cyclopropanols like this in 90 percent of uh, the product which is uh, stereoselective in nature is formed during the uh, conversion of this substrate in presence of uh, titanium tetraisopropoxide and click the THM mixture. Then uh, Klinkovich reaction can also take place in an asymmetric fashion uh, when uh, we use uh, uh, these types uh, of 
uh, and keens in addition to esters uh, for product formation in the form of cyclopropanes. So here uh, the product uh, formed is highly uh, stereoselective because cis product is formed in 98% in comparison to trans product which is formed only 2%. Uh, the mechanism of the reaction is same as we have seen in uh, all the cases. Uh, in the first step, the Grignard reagent reacts with the titanium tetraisopropoxide and we will get this type of uh, cyclopropane uh, titanium complex. And this cyclopropane uh, titanium complex uh, will react with uh, styrene uh, like this. Uh, and this will be uh, this uh, phenyl group will add to the uh, cyclopropane ring like this to give us uh, another uh, titanium complex which will react with the ester to give us substituted cyclopropanols as the product in a stereoselective manner. Similarly, uh, this titanium tetraisopropoxide and uh, Grignard reagent mixture can also react with carbon nitrogen double bonded compounds to give us uh, these types of uh, three member titanium uh, complexes which can react with different types of uh, electrophilic uh, substrate to give us open chain or cyclic uh, products in organic cells. For example, terminal alkynes will give us uh, these types of uh, amino compounds whereas uh, here also uh, when X is a halogen or acetate we will get these types of alenes containing uh, amines as the product and uh, with this type of uh, terminal alkyne we will get pyrroles as the product. So these are the references uh, which have been used uh, for preparing this lecture. Thank you very much.